How's it going, everyone? Today we have Dylan Garand on with us. Dylan, a 2024th round draft pick to the New York Rangers. Uh, it's his third season with the Kamloops Blazers in the WHL. Uh, he was also a one if you can minor hockey and Delta Academy alum. Um, he also recently just played in the 2020 World Junior Championships in Red Deer and Edmonton, um, playing for Team Canada, of course. And uh, he also was a Scholastic Player of the Year in the 2019-2020 season as the top uh, student uh, of the WHL and also participated in the 2019 Top Prospects game for Team White as their goalie. Uh, thank you very much for coming on with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So if you can tell these players, parents and coaches what it's like to be a junior hockey player. Yeah, it's... It's definitely, you know, a pretty broad question, but, you know, overall it's, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I think, you know, when, when pro guys talk about it, they always say like junior hockey is the, the best time of their life. And, you know, you can definitely see why they say that. And, you know, it's a lot of fun for sure. Uh, definitely has its ups and downs and, you know, it's not easy, uh, you know, for everyone, everyone's paths a bit different. Um, you know, especially when you first break into the league, usually, you kind of got to work your way up and, and stuff like that before you, you know, get a bigger role and start getting more ice time and stuff like that. So uh, that can be tough, but at the same time, you know, you learn a lot of, of life lessons and, and uh, through junior hockey and, um, you know, a lot of stuff that you can take with you for the rest of your life. And, um, you know, there's a lot of components of it, but overall, like definitely the best parts of my life for sure. And, you know, every year has been my best year. So, uh, definitely pretty lucky to to play in, in the Western League and, and play junior hockey right now. And um, it's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, looking back on my career, juniors, uh, you know, it was, it was definitely the best time. College as well, they're both different just based on ages and, and what uh, responsi responsibilities you have. Uh, juniors, obviously, some players are still in school like you were last year. Um, and then you won the Scholastic Award there. But um, I was able to play hockey for a couple of years and do like a couple of classes in one of my seasons. Um, but I really didn't have much else to do other than just perform and, and focus on hockey. Um, and then you get into college where you got to balance everything with the whole schooling, uh, playing hockey, and even, I guess, the social life to it and the networking. Um, so as a kid, though, like, did, what were your goals and, and when did you, I guess, when did you start thinking about the NHL? When did you know you wanted to do that? Um, and yeah, just kind of how it all played out, I guess. Yeah, pretty much, um, you know, for the longest time, I was just playing hockey to have fun. And, you know, every year I just wanted to play on the best team and, you know, just win games and have fun and, and stuff like that. And, you know, I made a lot of good friends and, you know, I still talk to a lot of my teammates from growing up today. And, um, you know, yeah, the big focus was just having fun. And um, I think eventually, like, first year of Bantam is kind of when things started to get a little bit serious. Obviously, you know, the Bantam is, you know, guys draft year. And it wasn't mine, but it was some guys on my team and, you know, a lot of guys that we were playing against. So um, right from then, that's kind of a goal that I said is that, you know, I wanted to get drafted and, you know, obviously – being from from the island I think you know it's not quite as good as some other um you know areas regarding the draft where it's like Vancouver teams and stuff like that have a lot more so um you know it's kind of something that I wanted to prove to people is you know I'm from Victoria and I think I can get drafted and you know that's something that I wanted to do so that's kind of when hockey got started getting serious and you know I think once I did get drafted in my second year of of Bantam is you know kind of when I just focus to playing junior and then you know ultimately playing in the NHL one day but obviously that's still a long ways away even even back then it was a long ways away but um you know definitely it still motivates me every day and you know it's definitely something that I, I want to achieve in, in my life and you know how make a career out of I mean you're you're still very young being o o two and um you know you're just still in the midst of your junior career uh, you still got years left and then um also to the you know potential to play on team canada again one more year uh, to try out um but yeah and then and then comes i'm sure you got uh, big goals and then being you know i guess 
acknowledge as well with that uh, fourth round draft pick too. Like that's huge. And then you get into, you know, all that type of stuff as you go. But was there a certain point um, in your minor hockey days that, that you were thinking NHL and, and were really motivated? Like, was, is that right around the band time or were you thinking of that even younger ages? Uh, I think I've always thought about just playing in the NHL and, and how cool it was. I never really like made a plan or anything like how I was going to get there. You know, obviously wasn't really too motivated. I'm pretty young and then stuff like that. But yeah, definitely in, in midget is kind of where, or sorry, in Bantam when things started to get a little bit more serious and, and stuff like that. So, And that was right around the time that you made the move from the one of you could minor hockey to Delta Academy, was it? And, and just checking out your numbers, you had great numbers there as well. So obviously uh, I think I can relate to you maybe is once you start having success with hockey and you start seeing some things, you actually think there's, you know, there's belief there. And you're like, oh, I think, I think, you know, there's some sort of possibility or something might happen later on. You don't really know, but, you know, when you start having that type of success um, and then, and then your commitment levels and putting that much work, it's, it's a lifestyle. I'm sure that's what all was included as well. Um, were you a player? Did you start when you're young as a player? Yeah, I did. I started as a D-man and then uh, it was my turn to play goalie in, in initiation, I think. And I liked it a lot. And I actually made some saves, which was surprising. Usually you don't make a lot that young. And then uh, like two years later or two years after that, I would kind of rotate in and out. So like we had a goalie and he would play two games and then I would get to play one game and it would kind of do that for, for like two years. And then I finally made the full switch. Right. Uh, so, so a couple of years after initiation, that's like kind of the novice first year Adam age. So I guess that's the U nine, U eleven now. Um, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. I mean, so back then, as a player, um, I've actually, which is really weird. I'm really I'm friends with like a lot of goalies. I always end up being friends with like the goalies. Usually for some reason, I don't know. It's because I always shoot on them or or always score on them or something. I get that respect from them. <laughs> uh, 